Life on the Red Horse Ranch. attempt has been made to kidnap Dewey Dawson from Red Horse Ranch. The boys are pretty sure that it is the work of two escaped outlaws who once were members of Trigger Dawson's old gang. Trigger Dawson, who was believed to be Dewey's father, is now dead. No one knows what the escaped outlaws want with Dewey. But let's join the folks on Red Horse Ranch. While holding down my claim And my bills are not always served the best And the mice play shyly round me As I nestle down to rest In the little old sod shanty on my claim Oh, the hinges are of leather And the windows have no glass And the board reflects a howling blizzard in And I hear the Slinks up through the grass Round the little old sod shanty on my claim When I left my eastern home A bachelor so gay To try and win my way to wealth and fame I never thought I'd come down To burning twisted hay In the little old sod shanty on my claim But I'd rather like the novel of living in this way Though my bill of fare is always rather tame And I'm happy as a clam On the land of Uncle Sam In the little old sod shanty on my claim My clothes are plastered o'er with mud I'm looking like a fright And everything is scattered round the room Still I wouldn't give the freedom that I have out in the West For the comfort of the Eastern man's old home Still I wish that some kind-hearted girl would pity on me take And relieve me from the mess that I am in The angel, how I'd bless her if this her home she'd make In the little old sod shanty on my place Seems like our singing must have scared Dewey's dog away. Cookie, can't you help Dewey find that pooch? Can you find his dog? It's practically found right now. I'm so tired, all I can do is listen to y'all sing. <laughs> well, we'll try to satisfy you, Cookie. How about it, boys? Yeah. yeah. Mountain music. That's a good one. Yeah, I like mountain music, good old mountain music. Played by real hillbilly band Give me rural rhythm Let me sway right with them I think the melodies are grand I've heard a warriors play From the land of the 
wicky-wacky, but I must say that you can't beat turkey in a straw by cracky. I like mountain music, good old mountain music, played by real hillbilly band. you too much, do he? He just wandered off chasing jackrabbits someplace. Well, he's been gone an awful long time. I don't see why he don't come back. Here, Elizabeth. Arizona was down here singing a little bit ago. That might have scared him off. (laughs) Oh, shucks. I got a beautiful voice. Just listen to this. My mother was a lady and yours was a lalao and you would not well, why don't somebody stop me? <laughs> <laughs> Everything will be scared off if we keep that yeah. up, Arizona. We better <laughs> sing to keep Arizona quiet. Come on. Where's Alabama? Well, I think Alabama and Tex are down in the corral breaking in that bay cold. I wouldn't bother him now if I was you, Dewey. Well, what if Elizabeth was gone somewhere and he wanted me and was a whole lot of lions getting in? <laughs> <laughs> Seems to me you're worrying too much about that dog, Dewey. I wouldn't have a dog that couldn't take care of itself. Well, listen here, Dewey. We'll sing you a funny song. Now, don't laugh at us. Now, don't laugh. Bob here gets powerful mad when you laugh at him. (laughs) We got a cow down on our farm. Don't go on if that ain't strange. She's got long horns, but she means no harm. Don't go on if that ain't strange. One day while crossing a frozen stream, her tail got caught in the ice, it seems. And ever since she gave ice cream. Don't go on if that ain't strange. Moo, cow, moo. Well, do it, that ain't cow. That's baloney. <laughs> how's that? Well, how'd that strike you, Dewey? I reckon it made me laugh, too. Here comes Alabama. Maybe he saw Elizabeth. Hey, you fellas. Uh, is this way to earn a living? <laughs> well, we're enjoying it. Are you all through down the corral, Alabama? Not so you could notice it. That big cold turned out to be a fighter. Hey, you all it. better come on down and help me and Tex air him down. Sure, if that's all you want. What's that y'all gonna do? You aim down. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Mr. Alabama, I wouldn't do that if I was y'all. Well, that's the only way you can get a bronc to stand still long enough to put a saddle on him, to get his ear between your teeth and hold him there. Yes, but I, I wouldn't yeah him down like this. Well, why not, Cookie? Because how y'all like to have your ear between his oh. teeth? Alabama. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Alabama. Are you going to help me find Elizabeth? Oh, have Cookie help you find him, Ed Dewey. Say, come on, boys, and let's hear another tune before I go back on the job. Six months have gone by, love, the good doctor said. For six weary months, love, I've been sick in bed. My poor hungry heart, love, was in agony. The drugstore had nothing to help what ailed me. They tell me you're bitter, cause I did not write. But brain that is fevered is as dark as the night. So you'll understand why I didn't write you. The master in heaven knows what I've been
What's made you stand up, said dry up your tears Then he sent you to Nashville for 21 years As we stood embracing, they tore us apart But they'll never tear you from out of my heart <laughs> That is good enough for me. But come along, you fellas. Tex will be wondering what's happened to all, all right. of us. Yeah, let's get this job done to corral over with. Yeah. Uh, you'd better come along, Dewey. I don't want you getting lost. But I want to find my dog, Alabama. Elizabeth's gone. Well, have Cookie help you find him then, but keep your eye on Dewey, Cookie. Yes, yeah, sir, but I was powerful busy. Come on, Dewey. Let's you say that Colt's giving you trouble, Alabama? Yeah. Hey, where are you Mavericks been anyhow? I've been waiting for the last half hour. <laughs> well, I figured you needed a little rest, Tex. Uh, we was just up at the house singing. Well, I got tired waiting. I just saddled him up without you. Well, well be. you go <laughs> groundhog, you. Ain't there no horse that can lick you? <laughs> well, we'll see about that as soon as I straddle him. But I ain't gonna do it now. Well, we just as well get back up to the chuck house then. Uh, Cookie ought to have something ready to eat by this time. Not at the rate he was going when we left him. Hey, Cookie! Yes, Miss Idaho? Figure we'll get anything to eat today? Yes, the chuck's practically done right now. Why, Cookie, where'd Dewey go to? He's looking for his dog. I don't know. He, he went somewhere. But I thought I told you to watch him. Yes, sir. I kept my practically on him only. He went down there somewhere, he did. Well, I don't see him. What was he doing? He said he thought he hear that dog barking or something. Hey, there. Dewey. Now, what do you suppose? He couldn't have gone clear down to that clump of trees, could he? Yes, yeah, sir. That's where he was going. I was too busy to go with him. Come on, boys. I don't like this. Oh, oh, we'll go with you. Yeah, yeah, let's go. Dewey, Dewey. No. Where are you? I don't see a sign of him. But he's got to be around here somewhere. Where could he have gone to? Well, it's a sure thing he ain't around here close, so he'd answer us. Say, ain't there been some horses along here in the trees? You don't suppose it? Oh, that don't mean nothing. I don't think Cookie knows what he was talking about. Look here, fellas. Huh? Ain't there something to do he's here on the ground? What? Let me get a look at it, Bob. Why, it's a locket, and the locket Dewey always wore around his neck. Well, well, but what could that mean, Alabama? It means just one thing. Dewey's gone. Now, what strange reason could the outlaws have for kidnapping Dewey? Be sure to keep in tune for more happenings on Red Horse Ranch. <laughs> <laughs>